What's going on guys, it's Arik here. Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Violet. To be completely honest, the whole reason why I'm doing this in such a shotgun, as far as recording goes, is because I want to finish the game. I've gotten to the point where the story has kind of dragged me into it. If you're new to the channel, please like this video and subscribe. It's free. I mean, come on. I want to hit 100 subscribers, guys. At least 100. And then we can slowly work from there. I've already reached 90 at the, at the point of this video being created. So let's continue. Ark, it's truly a great relief to me that you came. I will answer any question you may have. Is there anything you know? What is an AI, really? An AI is an artificial intelligence created by a human being. A computer draws on the original com, original professor's knowledge and memories to calculate all of my thoughts and actions. The results of those calculations are expressed by this mechanical body, built to resemble the professor in every way. I in fact possess the knowledge to develop such a sophisticated AI at present, but the crystals that make up the Zero Lab have made such a thing possible here. They are also why I cannot leave this place. Is there anything else you wish to ask? What happened to the real professor? As I explained to you before, the original professor no longer exists. During the destruction of the research station, his physical body received great grievous injuries. But unable to, I am afraid that this fact that this fact may be difficult for his son Arvin to accept. Now I manage the Zero Lab in the original professor's place. Is there anything else you wish to ask? What is this time machine? The time machine is a device that the original professor and I worked on together. It sends Pokeballs to a different point on the timeline to catch Pokemon there, and it can then draw them back here to the present. When he was alive, Professor Turo had a you might have called what you might call future Pokemon. Even as we speak, the time machine continues automatically to automatically draw future Pokemon to this time. Is there anything else you wish to ask? What is it you really want? The original professor had a dream of a world in which future Pokemon might live alongside present-day Pokemon in harmony. But these Pokemon have gained a strange power due to their adaptations in the distant future has proved too terrible. Their future, their very existence brings destruction to the ecological balance of this current age. The current professor would say that such destruction is a natural part of life. At present, the barrier around Area Zero is still working to keep the future Pokemon from escaping into the rest of Paldea. But we've begun to see Pokemon appear that can break the barrier, such as Iron Treads. Eventually, they will break free of this, this walled garden known as Area Zero and run rampant across the Paldea region. And when they do, the rich and varied ecosystem of Paldea will be trampled beneath their coming. I may have been created as a copy of the Professor, and yet... I cannot seem to find the logic in allowing such a tragedy to occur. But any hope of preventing it would require overcoming the greatest AI that the original Professor ad ever advised. Ark. You have become a formidable trainer. I use that strength you have gained to destroy the dream Turo once cherished. Okay. To save Paldea. I appreciate your willingness to help. We have reached the lowest level. Yeah. <sighs> Wait, are we inside the poke the uh, terrestrialized Pokemon or something? Behold, this is the time machine we perfected using the power of the terrestrial phenomenon. Is that a Nintendo Switch? Kind of looks like one. To stop the time machine, you will need to use the professor's ID, which has been embedded within the Violet Book. It was very like the professor to put the final key we would need in that book, of all places. He loved that volume since childhood. If you place the Violet Book upon it, it will stop the time machine. There's just one issue. 
If you try to stop the machine, I will most likely attack you. Artificial being that I am, my own desires can be overridden by the system's programming. Once that happens, I'm afraid I will become no more than a battle machine, bound to defeat anyone identified as an obstacle by my code. My battling abilities are peerless. They are built upon analysis of all the battles carried out by various champions of the Paldea region. Having the bond between you and your Pokemon, however, I believe you can prevail. Once you have raided yourself for this fight, please place the Violet Book upon the pedestal. Somebody tells me he's going to have a bunch of those, uh... Somebody tells me he's going to have a bunch of the Paradox Pokemon. <laughs> Identity confirmed. Professor Turo. Access granted. Initiating emergency shutdown. Please wait. Please wait. Access denied. Shutdown command overridden. Reinitializing. It's up to you now, R. AI Turo switching to sleep mode. Activating offensive protocols. Please defeat me. At last, my dream is within reach. And you're, you're not getting in the way. Oh, jeez. The yeah, Turo, Turo has initiated a battle. Iron Moth. I don't know who you think you are, but I'm not about to let anyone get in the way. Jeez. That's a fast little, some, little, little SOB. This is the power the distant future holds. Splendid, isn't it? Let's go for a second. Here's another discharge. Just as Calcumon, it is time you simply gave up, child. Okay, so Psycho Cut was the appropriate choice. Now, this is interesting. Child, do you actually understand future Pokemon weaknesses? Iron Thorns. Tyranitar, huh? Let's go for a bitter blade. Uh oh. Oh, Jason! Another critical hit. Do you imagine you can best the wealth of data at my disposal with your human brain? Trailblaze should do it. Good job, Oliver. Iron Hands. It's Pathra. All right, Nancy.
psychic. Oh, yeah, of course you're gonna use fake out. Let's cheat move. Iron Jugulus. Dazzling Gleam. Ah, Dark Pulse. We're Dazzling Gleam and we're done. At least without Indregulus anyway. Ooh, an Iron Valiant. We'll keep Zapbeak up for now. Everything is proceeding within my expectations. I'm afraid the probability of you winning is zero. Interesting. The booster energy was used up. Warp drive. Spirit break, huh? Sounds interesting. Volt switch. Now to introduce you to my strongest Pokemon, Deku. That's okay. That's not his special attack. Wave Crash. I win. Time to show everything. The impossible. What is this? Did you already beat all the baddies without me? Okay, out with it, you. Who are you, really? Thank you for everything. The time machine has finally... has finally been stopped. You're not really my dad, are you? Oh. So proud of you, my... Sorry you were alone so long, Arvin. D dad Security system failure. Security system failure. Threat to time machine detected. Threat to time machine detected. Whoa, 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 what's going on? Is another army of Pokemon on its way here? It can't be. An obstacle is preventing the time machine from performing as intended. Activating Paradise Protection Protocol to remove the offending obstacle. 
Was keeping the time machine running truly all the professor cared about? Locking all Pokeballs except those registered to Turo's ID. Wait, what? Program initializing. Gathering terrestrial energy. I'm sorry, children. Good for you. You must run. AI Turo disabled. Paradise protocol initiated. Your paradise protection protocol initiated. And this is when I had to use Maridon. You are not getting in my way. You are challenged by AI Toro. You are challenged by the protection protocol. I sent up Maridon. Choice bring in Maridon. Don. Centered battle form. I wonder if I can use a Terra Orb on Maridon. That's an angry Maridon there. Maridon, Guardian of Paradise. Let's go, Maridon. You got this. You will fall here with this garden paradise and achieve nothing in the end. It was in this garden paradise and achieve nothing in the end. Yeah, buddy. You will not be allowed to destroy my paradise. Obstacles to my goals will be eliminated. Looks like it'd be bad. Uh, hang in there. Data say I am the superior. Fall and become a foundation of which my dream will be built. You took that hit like a hand. Pull off a win here? This doesn't look good. Hey, Ark, your terror orb's glowing. Ark, we're right on. Terrestrial lives and finish this off.
Damn, everything's rising. It's like a terror. It's like a terror raid. Let's use terror blast. fainted. Gotcha again. You defeated the Paradise Protection Protocol. I didn't think something like locking Pokeballs like that could exist. That's interesting. You did it! It's... It's not going berserk anymore. How, how very astounding to think that you would manage to defy even the original professor's final protections. Are you back to normal? Yes, a completely unforeseen outcome, even for an AI possessing the most sophisticated technology ever conceived. Even there, you children did not give in and instead proved your worthiness, showing the wisdom to think for yourselves. The courage to hold faith in your hand, in your friends, and the fortitude to do what had to be done. No matter how challenging of a future may await you, I believe you will be capable of walking whatever paths you choose for yourselves now, with pride. I thank you, Arg. I thank all of you children. But I am afraid that the time should not be put to a complete stop so long as I am here. It appears I myself am part of the system that ensures the machine reboots when stopped. Huh? What does that mean? I am sorry. You know, when I was watching all you all on your adventures from down here, I felt a sense of jealousy. I envied you, your freedom, the way you all came together, working in league for them, the way that you sought strength and to do and to better yourself throwing all you are into your battles, the way that you would face down even the greatest enemies to save that which you loved, the way you never ceased to seek nor to fight for a treasure all your own. <sighs> ah, and the way that you soared free through the very skies on those wings of yours. I wish that I too might be as free as you all have found treasure above all else, not bound your own treasure as long as I remain here the time machine will not stop for I am inextricably connected to it so I've made a decision I will use the time machine to journey to the world of the future that I have dreamed of what you can't just leave now right when we finally reached you I'm not going only machine can be stopped. I also cannot deny my desire to see that future world for myself is this what it feels like to have your heart race with the thrill of adventure? Arvin, I'm sorry that I kept the truth from you for so long. I inherited all the thoughts and wishes of the Professor, and so I understand better than any. Your father truly loved you. You... you can't. You can't just go and say a thing like that now. No. I suppose you're right. I am sorry. Arvin, right on. Arik, it is a little sad, but I'm afraid this is goodbye. Dad! Farewell, my free adventurers. I bid you adieu. It's rather odd that he did not have a protocol for preventing the AI from being taken into the future. And then everything shuts down because the AI is no longer around. How could you just go? Dad. 
Arvin, you okay, bud? Yeah, somewhere deep down, I kind of already knew it. I knew that thing was fake, but it, when it said my name, using his voice and wearing his face, even if it was a fake, it felt real, you know? And so I just... I... Sorry, I don't know what I'm saying. That's... I guess Maridon is sad too. Oh, but that battle form, how cool is that? It's so strong. If it tries to nudge at me for a belly rub while it's huge like this, I seriously think I'm going to die. <laughs> you know, let's not skip over the big win here. Ark and Maridon just saved all of Paldea. That's right, you both did amazing. Thanks, Ark. Yeah, that's my butt Ark for you. You know, Arvin, um, even though the professor's gone, I bet he's having a real fun adventure of his own in the future. Yeah. Thanks, Penny. Um, yeah. Sorry. What should we do now, Ark? Let's go home. Bet it. Come on, everyone, let's make our way home. Yeah, that was the only logical thing to do was to bring Maridon out. I mean, come on. He's the only Pokemon I have, and when you think about it, he's not registered to me. He's in a Pokeball that Turo owned back in the day. Long loading screen this time. Here we go. Okay, everybody, listen up. What is it? Let's take the long road home. You get a little bit more fun out of this. I don't really... Sounds great if we can load up on snacks first. I'm in. Hey, Ark, not you too. <laughs> All right, fine. I guess we're doing this. I have to mute this for now because this is a copyrighted song, so you guys can't hear can't hear what's going on right now. Thank you all so much for stopping by. If you like this video, please be sure to hit that like button, and if you're new to the channel, subscribe. And as always, I will see you in the next video, which will probably handle the post game. And ah, just remember, you don't lose, you learn. Gamers. Game on.